Hello ladies, this is Constance. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you like the content. And if you do, consider subscribing. Hit the like button and the notification bell. This way you will be notified every time I upload a video. For those ladies who have already joined the Cute and Comfortable Club, thank you for rocking with me. I truly appreciate you. In today's video, I am going to show you how to care for your shoes. Ladies, we are not exempt. We need to care for our shoes too because we are women of a certain class and statue and we want to look good from head to toe. So if some of you out there that don't know how to care for your shoes, in this video, I'm going to show you how. So what I'm going to do is take three different textures of shoes that I have down here. And I'm going to show you how I do them. So the first pair is going to be these canvas tennis shoes. What I did with these canvas tennis shoes when I first bought them, I took some Scotch Guard. Now they had some other stuff too that's specifically for canvas tennis shoes in the shoe section. But this is pretty much the same thing with a different label and a different name. Because this is canvas and this is Scotch Guard Outdoor Water Shield. It says, ultimate protection against the elements repels rain and snow. So, what I did was, I took it, shook it up really good, sprayed it all the way around the shoe. Allowed the shoe to dry, and then I sprayed it again. And once it dried the second time, then I was able to wear them while I felt comfortable wearing them. I could have worn them straight out the box. But I didn't want to mess this up, you know. I'm not a fan of the white shoe polish. You know, the stuff you used to push <laughs> push down on there, you rub it. Mm -mm, that's not me. So, if dirt or anything splashes on these shoes, it'll repair right off because I protected them before I start wearing them. For this leather part right here, for this leather part right here, what I do is use the Clorox disinfectant wipes. So I take a disinfectant wipe out and I wipe it down. I also wipe the bottoms too once I'm done wearing them for the day. So I take a disinfectant wipe. I keep these in my, in my bathroom over here. And I just wipe down this canvas right here. Make sure that it's all cleaned and wiped down. There's no dirt or anything like that on them. So when I wear them, and I come home and I'm done with them for the day. Then I'll go in and I clean the bottoms off. I clean the bottoms off because first of all, I don't wear shoes in my house. Second of all, I don't want to bring dirty shoes in and store them on my shoe shelf. So I clean them off. Make sure that they're thoroughly clean. And that's what I do with my tennis shoes. And I done had these shoes for a while. Yeah, and they still look good. They still look good. This is a suede pair of shoes. And what I did with these before I wore them was take this soft sole waterproofer spray and I spray them. I don't know why I'm taking the top off because I'm not about to spray them. But I sprayed them. I sprayed them all over until they got nice and soaking wet. And then I allowed them to dry for a couple of days. Then I came back and I sprayed them again. And then I allowed them to dry again for a couple of days. Then I wore them. However, I had these on over the weekend. And I have some scuff marks on them. Right here, you can barely see them, but they're there. They are there. So what I do to get that off is use a Swave eraser. 
So I go in with the rest of so this part right here. The gray part right here is a little rough. The white part is smooth. So the gray part you go in and you just get in there real good and scrub the suede where the mark is at. Just scrub it off real good. And then I take the suede part, the little smooth part, and I wipe it down same way so now that it's clean I got the marks off and then I'll do the same thing for this mark on this side get this off just scrub I'm gonna put it on my lap I hope you still can see it because I need to use a little bit elbow grease to go in there real good to get that mark off and it's just an eraser, but it's an eraser for suave. And this is a good thing to do after you finish wearing your shoes. If you don't do it that day, then try to do it that next day or within that week. And then you can store them back wherever you have them. And some people store them in boxes, containers, or they store them on the shelf like I do. And now they're good to go for the next time I wear them. And this is why I'm dressed like this because I knew I was going to get dirty. And plus, I'm going to show you how to shine some shoes. Then I'll go around the edges of the shoe with this Clorox right wipe so it'll stay clean and wipe the bottoms off real good. Yeah, wipe the bottoms off real good. Allow them to dry before I put them back on my shelf. So that's the suede shoes. And here I have a pair of leather shoes. And with these shoes, I do the same thing on the bottom with the Clorox wipe. Take the Clorox wipe, clean the bottom off real good. But these are suede so it's going to look wet. But you're getting all the dirt off of it. So you just do this anyway. And you ladies that's out there with ran over shoes. Taps. Clicking and clacking. You need to take those to the cobbler. And let the cobbler fix your soles. You got soles worn down. You got heels worn down. On your higher heel shoes. Your taps are not right. Take them to the cobbler. And have them fix it. It doesn't cost a lot of money. It's just a little bit of money. And plus, you're preserving your shoes. Your shoes, you're paying good money for your shoes. Your shoes are an investment. And you want to keep them as long as possible. So with these shoes, by them being leather, what I will use is... Let me get, you, get some stuff here. Get some stuff. I use Kiwi. They got other polishes out there. Now, if you don't want to get your hands dirty... You can use this. This have everything in it that you need except for a brush. So you go in there, you dip this in there, you twist it around, you get your polish out, you rub it on your shoes. Then you take this cloth and you buff it with this. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. A lot of times I don't. I don't, a lot of times I don't use this. So this is a backup if you don't want to get your, you know, you got your nails done. You don't want to get your fingers dirty because you will get your fingers dirty. Let me get some more stuff. So the first thing you want to do is take your brush that don't have polish on it and knock off all the dust off of them. That's the first thing you want to do. You just want to just knock the dust off of them like that. So knock the dust off of them. Then you're going to go in with this if you want don't want to get your hands dirty. I use this because I do get my hands dirty. Look at the t-shirt. So you're going to need a t-shirt that you're no longer using or your husband is no longer using. Another t-shirt and a nylon stocking, which I don't have over here right now. But I will get it when I demonstrate how to shine these shoes. 
with this one the big can you want to take two fingers take the t-shirt wrap it around like this here and then you got your two fingers like this you open up the can of polish look guys y'all look at this can it is hit a metal I shine my shoes often and you go in there and you get you some polish in there like that and I'm gonna show you I'm just showing you now so you can see real good and you rub it all around the shoe rub it all around your shoe and when you get it in there just keep rubbing 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 and then you're gonna need some water and you're going to need a lighter and a brush. This is my shining brush. After you shine your shoes, say you done went in and you did a good spit shine on these shoes, a good spit shine, a good brush shine or whatever on this shoe, on this shoe and it's mate. And you're ready to wear it again. You done knock the dust off of it. And it's just not looking up to par how you want it to look. And you just want to have a little bit more luxury. Or you want to have it shining and popping again. So just go in with this sponge. Clean it up with this. And this right here, you can use it on any color shoes. Any color shoes you can use this on to bring the shine and luxury back to your shoes. And this is called a shoe sponge by Kiwi. And they have other brands out there. I just use Kiwi because that's all they really have in the neighborhood. But you can order other shoe shine waxes, creams, and all of that on Amazon. But I'm going to show you the basics where you can pick up Kiwi like at your Walmart, your Target. Stores that's probably Walgreens and CVS may have it too. I'm not sure because I hadn't bought it there. But I have bought it at Walmart. And I'm sure it's at Target. Kiwi get you some kiwi and a brush and go in with your shoes because it ain't nothing like walking around with some shiny shoes on your shoes looking good i know i do i do the first thing i look at on a man is his shoes i look down and then I, my eyes go up and i do the same thing with women too i look at their shoes and sometimes i'll be like your outfit look good but girl why are you leaning to the side why <laughs> And you know what? Sometimes I think they lean into the side is because if they wearing like a pointy toe shoe, their feet cannot accommodate that type of heel. And ladies, if that's you, then you probably need to invest in some block heel shoes. They got some beautiful block heel shoes. Honey, turn around and look at these back here that I got. They got some beautiful block heel shoes. You don't have to wear no pointed toe shoes if your feet going like this and your heels going in like that mm -mm, that's not a good look you want to look good from head to toe so ladies i am here to help you that's what i'm here to do i'm here to help you so i'm going to show you how to shine these shoes okay so that's what you're going to need ladies and if it's this something that you're interested in just keep watching for the demonstration on how I show you how to shine this shoe.
Ladies, that completes the video. I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, please consider hitting the like button. This is the shoe that I shined. And this is the shoe that I did not shine. So let me just transfer it over so it look right. <laughs> so this is the shoe that I shine. And this is the shoe that I did not shine. And you can clearly tell the difference. So take care of your shoes. If you have scuff marks on them, get rid of them. If your tabs are loose or weak or have fallen off, take them to the cobbler. If your soles are wore down, your heels are wore down, take them to the cobbler. So if you need to take your shoes to the cobbler, take them to the cobbler. We spend money, hundreds, sometimes thousands, I do, <laughs> on my shoes. So I want to keep them as long as I can. And I want you guys to do that too. And even if you spent a hundred or less on your shoes, you still want to keep them for a while. So take care of them. Take care of your suede shoes. Take care of your canvas shoes. Take care of whatever shoes there is. If you got shoes with bedazzles on them, all on them, just wipe them down with a soft cloth with a little soap on them. And just wipe them down. But keep your shoes clean and keep your shoes in pristine condition. We are a lady of class and of a certain statue. And we want to be looking magnificent all the time at all occasions. Until next time, bye for now.